how many tight ends will be on the Jets' active roster in September? On the 53-man roster, I'm going four. On the game day roster, week one at Carolina, I'm going three. Let's take a look at the tight end room. It's a crowded one right now. And at the top is Chris Herndon. Most accomplished receiver at the tight end position. Chris Herndon is entering his fourth season. That means he's already one of the longest tenured players on the roster. Slow start to last season, but he finished with 31 catches, nearly, nearly 300 yards receiving, got in the end zone three times. If you're Herndon, you're very excited about the prospects you have in this offense because look at the way Michael Fleur and Kyle Shanahan use the tight end. George Kittle in San Francisco. It's a great point, and not only should Chris Hernan be excited, but so should the rest of this tight ends room that has Ryan Griffin and Daniel Brown, two guys that have been on this team for a couple of years now. And then Joe Douglas adds Tyler Croft in free agency. A lot of interesting depth. Griffin is a guy known for his blocking prowess, but if you go back two years ago, he had 34 receptions and five touchdowns. Tyler Croft played last season with the division rival Buffalo Bills, just 12 catches, also known for his blocking, but he got into the end zone three times. And you mentioned Daniel Brown. He has been one of Brant Boyer's top performers on special teams the last couple seasons. I think that's an overlooked part of Daniel Brown's game. And we're not, not talking about Trayvon Wesco. We are, because he's one of the guys that offers a different kind of versatility. He's not only a tight end, but a fullback as well. Well, in LaFleur's offense, we often speak about positionless players. Trayvon Wesco, yes, he's listed as a tight end, and he's going to line up as a tight end, but he's 6'3", 267 pounds. He's going to get after you, blocking just three career catches. But also, if you go to two back sets, he can line up in front of the halfback and provide that blocking punch there as a fullback. Kenny Yaboa, very effective receiving tight end from Mississippi last season, averaging nearly 20 yards a catch, had six receiving touchdowns. He's a guy we'll watch in training camp. Can he provide value on special teams as well? And Kenny Yaboa, one of 12 undrafted free agents to sign with the Jets. And for your full coverage, stay right here on NewYorkJets.com.